Firstly, a natural hazard is a natural event which usually results in a combination of social, economic and environmental impacts. For example, when Hurricane Katrina hit America in 2005, there was vast amounts of flooding that came along with the torrential rain and damaged the environment. Petrol and diesel prices were affected globally due to the spills that occurred in the affected cities of Alabama and New Orleans. And the 20,000 people who were in the Superdome Stadium were likely distressed and kept in unhygienic conditions and crowned conditions over the period where aid was not widely available. There are also other natural hazards other than hurricanes. They include landslides, torrential rain, excessive snowfall, avalanches, floods and more. It is important to note that all these pose major risks to people and property. Lastly, students should know the factors affecting hazard risk. These are the circumstances which affect the severity of the impact of a natural hazard. Here are three different factors. Time. Perhaps during the day, a population is spread out as they pursue their jobs or education in different areas, but at night, the population comes home and is concentrated. At night, there is a larger risk of more people being affected if they are concentrated in an area where an earthquake may hit, whereas if people are spread out during the day. Level of development. A more developed area has more to lose than a less developed area due to the large investments in infrastructure and buildings in a developed city that can be lost when they are hit by a hazard. However, it is usually the less developed areas that suffer the most economic damage. Education. If people are more educated about what to do during a hazard, they will follow the safest actions, reducing their chance of being affected by the hazard. Therefore, a higher level of education contributes to a lower impact.